I hope you lose your job. <laughs> and I hope your kids never learn how to read. <laughs> and if they already know how to read, I hope they forget. <laughs> Let's go. Here we go. What's up, man? I just got really loud and really you excited. Got, it's a little much for a Monday morning. <laughs> well, as you could see by our previous show, I was in a weird mood this morning. It's all good, man. Don't don't put me on a live show. Are you rethinking we do a, this? We do a live show every Monday. This is problematic. Yes. Um, speaking of live shows, before we get into the podcast. I know. <gasps> it's happening. By the time you people... Are listening to this? And yes, I said you people. <laughs> use, but, use people. By the time you guys is listening to this, um, it will be three days until our live 100 episode party. Yes, for for everyone out there, happy Thanksgiving tomorrow. Yeah, hope you have a good day. First and foremost, don't fry a frozen turkey. Yes. Don't don't put the frozen turkey into the fryer. It'll be bad. Okay. Um, yeah. And don't talk about politics with your drunk uncle. Yeah. Or just any like or I think anyone it should just be off the table this year. Yeah. It's too much of a a hot button. Let's talk about coronavirus instead. Yeah, like it's just <laughs> talk oh. about happy things. Talk yeah. about the Tucker and the Beard show that you're going to. Saturday here's some here's some tops, topics of conversation to have around your Thanksgiving table. What was everyone's ep- favorite episode of Happy Days? Okay. I don't know. It's better than politics and no, I agree. News I mean, and, I'll sit there and, and all the all the nonsense. I don't have a favorite episode of Happy okay. Days other than the Jumping the Shark episode because it gave right. us the term Jumping, jumping the, the shark. shark. But it's one of those things of, and I'm just segueing into one of the things that we've watched. This week, and okay. we we're going to talk about. It. I'm just gonna just it's, throw it out on the the Thanksgiving table right let's now. Let's go. But I'm just, and I know I've said it for the last two weeks or whatever, but I'm just very happy with the '70s TV show formula. Absolutely. Like I'm just, and I miss you talking about like Happy Days and stuff. It wasn't so much what I'm talking about, but the. There's so many shows that this six million dollar man and every you know Airwolf all, and the A Team yeah, and there's that era in time where they right, found this MacGyver. formula and even like the Spider Man sh- TV show that they did in like the 70s sure. they had this formula where it was or overarching you know that there was this big story yeah right of why they were traveling from Point town a, to town yeah. do you remember speaking of that formula. Mm. Just popped into my head. Do you remember the real Ghostbusters cartoon? Yeah, kind of the same. Fantastic. Same thing. GI Joe, kind of a, yeah. a you know. Well, the same, there was the Care Bears. I was gonna go like deep down the rabbit hole. There was a there was a show in the nineties, and I be, I was a huge fan of it. I watched it with my dad and stuff, and it was called The Pretender. Okay. And it was about a, a kid, like super genius kid, that escaped this lab, and he hmm. could essentially become anyone because he was like so smart and he could change identities and stuff and he just went from town to town helping they had used him for bad purposes okay this, this lab they had raised him to like, like catch weapons me if you can. and yeah kind of a catch me if you can but it All like right. they raised him in this lab and came up with different weapons and ideas and war and did bad things so he escapes hmm. and you know in order to make things right he goes from town to town helping people helping people you know, and at the end of the episode, like it's him like leaving of, him with a whole bunch of money and a combination you know, of the X Men meets My Name Is Earl. Yeah, like so, it was just a really, <laughs> really cool show that I, you know, that I got into. It didn't last a whole long, but it's Mandalorian has brought it back. Yes, and I've heard some people don't really like, you know, that it's just like, well, it's another little are, caper episode. You know, those people are stupid and should shut up. I think it's it's great and it's building yeah. anticipation. This for, formula is so good. Yeah. And while still maintaining that overarching storyline. So they're holding they're holding this other storyline mm. and they're still doing a really good job of it right. while 
they're sprinkling things in there for the right. overarching story. Yeah, the breadcrumbs are there but, always. Dang, is it good? And this week's episode was so good. I don't know if I was to, if I was to rank them so far out of the four episodes. It would be probably my second. The first episode to me is still... Right. There was something special about it. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was just really establishing this kind of storyline. But Right. Um, it probably would be second. The, uh, this episode four. So far, yeah. Um, the other ones were still good. It, I'm not making them thing, but it was... You know, it was like spider, you know, ice spiders and stuff. I'm like, okay. Like, cool. Those were more caper centric. Yeah. Episode just, two and three were more caper centric. Yeah. And the third one, like, there were some big, big There's things. There's some big things three. absolutely happened in, so in episode three. It was for amazing. Sure. Yeah. They were have all been amazing. But yeah, if you're not watching The Mandalorian, get your life together. Yeah. Get it together. Figure out, figure out your thing. So I've not started the show that I was given last week. How we just, dare you? Well, we just finished The Crown that season. So it was like we didn't like mix it up. So we're, we're going to do that at some point. But it's just actually sitting down and being in, the, in that frame of mind for a not psychological kind of, but it's, it's not shut your brain off. Show. No, I'm getting no, the it is not. It is not. I and that's kind of what we were. You really, you do actually have to pay attention. It it moves at quite a good clip. Yeah. Um. I I am emotionally watch it. Yeah, I am emotionally drained from watching The Crown. Okay. Like I don't want to say anything bad about the royal family right now in fear of what they'll do to you. Yeah, getting that's how, getting suicided. That's how monarchies work. Um, because yeah, man, the bad people. I knew some things, but now you I know more things. Now I know more things, and you're just like, wow. Well, and okay. the the kicker to all of it is like, you know, when you you read about historical figures, or you, you know, you learn about historical figures, you're like, wow, that that person was a real garbage. Yeah. But it was like 500 years ago. Yeah, not so much. These people are in my lifetime. Are still there. Right. And it's this thing of nothing to make the crown look bad. Right. Is the the overarching theme of the Homeboy show. probably should have stayed off of that plane. Yeah. Before going to a certain island. Yeah. I'm surprised he's alive. Uh, he, yeah, there's more, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's more things. I'm surprised that he hasn't had an unfortunate accident at this it's, point because you talk about not making the crown look bad. Whoo. Yeah. But it, that, that's mommy's favorite. Mm-hmm. That's known. That's, yes. Yeah. There was a whole episode about. Oh, okay. Her favorite kid and her, you know, she has four kids and she was meeting with each one of them trying to figure out who, because somebody had made a comment about her favorite kid, and she's like, what are you talking about? And discovered she had a favorite kid. And, yeah. Come to Come to find out this wasn't in the... We're not there yet. Um, there's okay. two more seasons to go. but And I don't think that that will be in there, but you never know. Um, but, yeah, it's like found out... When that news broke... The next day, he was given a medal oh. by the queen for the distinctive service to the queen. Wow. So that's why I'm like, he's all right. He'll be okay. Teflon. So anyways, before I get suicided. Right. I Careful. Don't, I don't want we that. Do have, we, we do have listeners in both the... I know. The Isles and in the Commonwealth. So shoot a message. That's right. I mean Canada. I mean no. She's your queen too. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. But yeah, it's it's Thanksgiving week. Yeah. I'm excited. Magic's in the air. 
I'm excited. I've been, whenever it gets close, like, that's all I want to eat. Right. That's all that sounds good to me is Thanksgiving food. And throwing this out there, I am not skilled or have the ability to be in any kitchen. Okay. Like, I just don't. So, and my wife is a very good cooker. No. Just chef. Just cook. I don't want to say chef because that's an actual. Chef's a distinction. She's a good want to say, cook. She's, yeah, she's a very, very, very good cook. Um, and so she's going, she's going, going hard, hard. You know, but then it was like I keep on, I'm, I'm playing that card where I keep on going, oh, are you making this? And then I feel really bad because it's, it's not a large group of us. You right. Know? Um, and so there's like five appetizers and she, you know, she's, she's going hard in the yard and it's like, I'm just going to stop talking now. Right. Yeah. Are you making this? I wasn't gonna, but if you want it. Right. Then sure. And then I'm like, no, no, no. Right. It sounds disgusting. No, I don't want that. You're not making it. (laughs) That's that's gross. (laughs) But it's like we're we're making an entire separate Thanksgiving dinner, which I think I I commend you for that. Just because it's actually the second time I've done it. Okay, when you have a group as large as the group that yeah. I typically have for Thanksgiving, leftovers just simply aren't a thing. Yeah, and the best part of Thanksgiving is the sandwich. Yes. that you can make over the weekend. Yes. with the leftovers. So in order to have leftovers, you basically just have to make a whole extra Thanksgiving dinner. Right. Which is so good. Like, I'm almost excited for leftovers as I am for Thanksgiving. Oh, we're... Because yeah. that's just... I think we were talking the other day at coffee of, you know, my normal popcorn eating. Like, my leftover Thanksgiving, there's no... There, no. No. There's no cleanliness. There's no there's class just, there's, involved in eating, in eating the leftover sandwich. It, like, it is a... It's like, don't look at me. Right. Yeah. What is it? The the old, was it Carl's Jr. commercials? If it doesn't get all over the place, it doesn't belong in your face. Which is very clever. Like, some of the, these restaurants, like little taglines, I wish that they would, wish they'd hold on to. Well, you know, it was one campaign. Right. You know, as we know in marketing, you run a campaign and then it's over and it then you got to come course. up with a new idea. But then there's like the Tootsie Roll commercial that's been going since we were kids that's still holding strong. Speaking or the Cadbury which, egg. Cadbury egg commercial still right. going. Speaking of the Tootsie Roll and okay. finding the center of a Tootsie Roll Tootsie Pop, mm-hmm. my kids decided that they were going to. Okay. This last week. Okay. I came home from work one day and they're like, Dad, we're going to we figure, figure it out. No, they're like, we figured it out. I figured it out. I was like, how many licks it takes to get to the Tootsie Roll center of a Tootsie Pop? Wow. Yeah, and it was like 427. Of theirs, though. Of theirs. That's, that's, now, that's, if you like threw that out there. Right. That's what some internet right. based this troll is, not, is this immediately is not a... going to be like, well, my licks would be different. Right. You know, some people have wetter mouths than other people. You're right. Like, it's just. It the... wasn't, yeah, it was not a scientific process. No, no, no. I do enjoy they, that they. they... But one, I mean, as far as there was no, there was no control. There was right. no sample group. Right. It was simply my. I think it was my daughter, mm-hmm. Lick, and my son was that making is hash marks on a piece. Like so, it that was like fantastic. It was as as scientific as a one person sample group can be. Right. How about that? Exactly. So yeah, no, that's awesome. Sorry, I'm blowing up. You are. Here we go. Oh, we didn't really get into the details, but we're going to get into them again right now. The details. And we're going to do it again at the end of the show because we really want as many people as can safely be in the building yes. on Saturday night. Saturday night, yeah. November the 28th, 2020, at the Thank attic. You. It's a place, yes. downtown Prescott. Get there at about 6.30. Get there at about 6.30. Um, it's going to fill up quickly. We we already have a, a pretty sizable looking guest list, so that makes me excited. 
Yeah, I was just, I think I was being the Debbie Downer and just being like, no one's, no one's, no one's going to come to my birthday. <laughs> and, you know. Slash your birthday. Slash my birthday. Um, but no, it's going to be a, I have super high hopes that it's going to be a, a really fun time. Yeah. And um, we are going to be safe as well. We're of not, course. Yeah. And um, I actually, we had some, some special edition. There's only 50 of them in existence. Stickers made up just for the event. Yes. So um, if you can come, we'll we'll get you one of those at the at the show. You can rock it. Yeah. So um, just really really excited and and in a week where we're celebrating Thanksgiving, just filled with gratitude for yes. all of the people who have listened and watched over the last couple of years and and really made this. Uh, Kind of made it a thing. Yeah, and this is, you know, without getting too deep, this has been, it's still going. We're still, it gives us great joy to do it, and it gives, yeah. you know. Um, but yeah, it's very therapeutic as well. Um, cathartic. Cathartic? Is that That's a fun word. All right. And it fits. Sure. Dawson Leary over here. Uh, you see that came to Netflix? <laughs> We watched like a little trailer because it came back to Netflix. Because well, I did notice that the other and day. So, and they, they were like, is even it on Netflix kid, with the new theme song or the old theme song? Old, uh, new new theme song. They don't have the old theme song anymore. But hey, rights are rights. Yeah, whatever. They could don't want to wait. If they they don't want to wait. Um, <laughs> could you imagine if they tried to do that with another like any other show? Though, like, yeah. imagine they tried to, like, the Rembrandts tried to strong arm the folks at NBC and be like, well, you're, the licensing for our song expired. Expired. And so now we want more money. And then NBC's like, nah, we'll just come up with a new theme song. The outrage. Yeah. The absolute utter outrage that would, that would ensue. Yeah. I think would be quite magnificent. I can't even imagine. I'm trying to think of some you don't other. Want to imagine. I don't. I can't live in a world where the Friends theme song doesn't happen. Right. Where's the they clapping? <laughs> um, what if Seinfeld had no soup Nazi? The world would keep turning. Or had a plot. <laughs> that was what <laughs> Seinfeld was. Just one of those shows when it was first. Like when it was actually on and I was younger and, you know, it was like a thing. I never got into it for no. that fact. Like I didn't have the sense of humor yet to be able to right. understand it a and show appreciate about nothing. it. But as I kind of got older and watched it again, I was like, oh, it was pretty cool. It was a funny show. It is funny. And I go, well, it was ahead of its time, but not really. I just, well, actually, it was before my I actually did sense just the other day watch the Soup Nazi episode. Nice. Because... It popped into my head, and I was like, you know, it's kind of like when a song gets stuck in your head, the only way to get it out of your head yes. and stop thinking about it is to just listen to it. And so, yeah, yeah. my son was in the car, and we're, like, we're driving. He's like, what's the deal with airline food? Like, just kind of was right. doing like a bit, and I was like, first of all, like, when did you become a Jerry Seinfeld fan? Like, right. I don't know. It was... What's the I deal? I think last night he had actually sat down and watched... Uh, my wife and I had found a Netflix stand-up special, and yeah. it was so good. Yeah, that we were cry laughing. Yeah, his, his um, stand-up is you know, no, not Jerry Seinfeld, oh, a different one. His like his, he did he did one um, recently, and it was really great. Yeah, I'll have to look. This guy's name is like Nate Bargazzi. Yes, killer dude is a killer. And it was all like we watched it and we're like. It was he's all clean. So, yeah, he's it was clean. All, and so we're like, like telling her something like, you need to, you need yeah. to watch this. And he was, I went in and he was like over on his side laughing. He yeah. so hard. Dude, Nate Bargatze is yeah. so funny. So yeah. And it was just super clean. And we're mm -hmm. just like, I found myself like watching it a second time with my son, you know, and I'm like, oh, I, I just watched this, but right. Um, no, super funny. Oh, there's another. His name is getting away from me right now, and it is making me mad. You're angry. It it is. 
Because dude is so funny, and he's got a very distinctive style. He also has quite the mullet. Um, oh. I don't know. That's what right. Oh, are you talking about Theo, Theo? Theo? Theo Vaughn. Yeah. So he's Could from not. he's from Road Rules fame, man. Yeah. Like that's when yeah. we were like, we thought he was hysterical back on like Road Rules days. And also, then he's like, I want to show you. I, yeah, he is without disconnecting really funny. anything. I I gotta show you. My, oh, we're doing my Google, this. My Google search that just that just happened. So I was like, grenade. Just a grenade, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Totally safe. I was like, this is our new bit called <laughs> Check Out This Video. And it's just us showing, hey, I saw this video. No, so I, I don't know if you'll be able to read it on, on video, but all I did was type in comedian with mullet. That is and, fantastic. And it's just the whole, the whole thing is him. top of the page is it's it's all Theo on. So Well, you said, like, as soon as I clued into what you were saying, I was like, oh, you're talking about Theo Vaughn. So and he's and the reason it popped in my head in relationship with Nate Bargatze is that he has done several specials that were clean. Mm-hmm. Um, he's done a couple that that weren't so right. clean, but but he's done quite a few that were, yeah, pretty family friendly. Yeah. So no, he's hysterical. I've watched a couple of his bits, and they're like really really good. Yeah. So stand up comedy, comedy in general, it's just good for. It's good, good for the good soul times. right now. It is. In these it is. uncertain times. So, but yeah, man, I'm I'm excited for Saturday, and we're gonna we're gonna do that thing. We are, and we have a long day. I got mind. some I got some clients in town for the day. Fun, and then going to the show. So it was. I had to telling a quick story. I was seeing some o- older family over the weekend, and. One of them asked about the show. One of them, you know, it's my mother-in-law, she's a, she's a fan of the show. She's like, oh, you got the show Saturday night. Well, then my wife's grandma was trying to figure out and trying to explain. And I was like, it's kind of like a radio, like what a podcast was. Right. And what I was doing. Right. And what was happening. It's a morning and radio just show the without look, the music. And just the look of, okay, that's cute. Good that's cute, you, honey. Look at you hanging out with your friend. Right. <laughs> Wasting time in the basement. Right, but it was just one of those, like, as I was going to explain to, you know, an older generation person that has no, you know, because I said podcast, then I quickly realized she has no idea what a podcast right. is. It's like morning radio. And I'm like, it's on, without you know, music. it's on, you know, you know, Facebook. What? It's on the YouTubes. <laughs> It's on the internet. What's the internet? No. Um, Put a hash brown I was, on it. Yeah. I was like, ah, it's like I have a radio show. Right. It's the best way to, to put it. Um, but yeah, it's it's crazy to think that we've been doing this for two years. Yeah. And that people actually still listen. What's up? Occasionally. People. So. Yes. Now that's appreciated. And... Come out Saturday. Definitely. I want to see your faces. Basically, this episode is just a really long promo uh, for Saturday. For We're Saturday. that excited, and it's like kind of yeah. one of those things where, like, I don't, want to, I don't want to talk about everything right now. No. So we have nothing to talk about. That's my fear, that we're going to show up Saturday, and it's going to be like, hey, everybody that's never heard of us before, and I'm just going to sit there right. quietly. Everybody else knows that I'm hilarious. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Yeah, you better show up with my with my dad jokes. You better and show up, like not just oh, physically. I'll be there. Yes, but like okay. I was like, I'm gonna be there. No, not like physically. Like you better yeah. show up. Ready to turn it up to eleven. We, we got to get one of those like like just computer people that I just showed up. It's just my face on an iPad. I'm just like, hey, doing nothing. What's up? Hey, everybody! Thanks for listening to our show. Two things to wrap out this episode. Wrap it out. Two things that I, they're currently still in the pretty credible rumor category. Tell me more. 
Black Widow will not have a theatrical re- release. It I will be released on something. Premiere Access. Okay. It should be. It's um, been too long. Like for in, in April is, nice. is the date that we're looking at. Nice. Also, we know that Deadpool 3 is in development mm-hmm. under the Disney... You know, under under Disney leadership now. Coming next year, and again, this was just from a screen clip that wasn't supposed to have been made public yet, so technically still a rumor. Disney 18 Plus coming in 2021. Wow. As a place where they can house their less than family friendly shows. Shows. Fox and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Cool. I have a rumor for you that you are not going to care about. Okay. Like, I'm just throwing that out there that it's like, ah, do I even say it? All right. But I guess America's sweetheart, Polly Shore, has been pushing <laughs> okay. and rumored heavily for Encino Man 2. I'm, I'm in. I don't even know. Okay. I I know I'm gonna listen. I'm not like super like my level up. of excitement. No, no, no. So is, here's what I have to do right now. I have to comment on my America's to, sweetheart, Polly Shore. No. So first, what I have to do is apologize in advance <laughs> because I'm about to do something to you that I know annoys you or frustrates you. Frustrates you. Um. Tell me more. Do you, is is Brendan Fraser yeah. signed on? Yeah, that there it is rumored that it's Brendan Fraser and and, Sean, Polly, and Sean Astin. Really? Okay. Like I'm like, listen, if they did it right, it could be something. Could be really, could be a really big deal. It could be a really big deal, or it could be a total dumpster fire. Yeah. Um, I think this goes. But beyond, either way, I, I will it be could watching. Go beyond dumpster fire. Yeah. To full on porta potty fire. Right, because there's going to be... The thing about Encino Man 2, and I'm a huge fan of Encino Man 1, Right, but nobody asked for this. No. Like, and no. so I'm like, listen, well, when I, you run that risk of making a sequel that no one... Asked for. No one asked for. No. But I'm like, okay, like I'm writing an Encino Man 2 story in my head, and it would have to be with, like, their kids. Oh, yeah. Like a little, like... Caveman, you know, Link and his caveman wife had a right. like a, a modern child because he would still grow up. Like he would grow up in in the having caveman parents, right? Like caveman parents just don't <laughs> understand. I'm just and, and, and just, honestly, they 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 literally would not. They I want to see yeah. Like, I would see I want to see Stony in like a business suit. Like he, right, like he is. He went on to. Make he's the straight man, <laughs> right? <laughs> he, like Polly Shore went on to <laughs> to manage a hedge fund or right work for an insurance firm, right? And it's like called Weasel Insurance, right? Like, come on, how great that would be! And then Dave is still trying to find love. <laughs> oh, Dave! Oh, Dave! <laughs> Such a great movie. I just wrote. Several insurance company advertisements that involved the weasel. Yeah, seriously. In my brain. Yeah. Like in my head, they're along the same lines as those mayhem commercials from. Yeah, but it's the weasel. But it's the weasel. Right. You know, just like why no, but why no business has taken Polly Shore and been like, hey, you're gonna be the you're gonna be the weasel. And it's going to be forever. You, like you are going to be the older, right? Weasel, like still trying to be spring break MTV weasel, right? And everybody being like, ah, seriously. Well, I knew that I knew that Polly was trying to. He's obviously trying to make. Uh, I hesitate to call it a comeback because he didn't. He didn't fall out of Hollywood. No, he walked away from Hollywood. Right. Um, but comeback is really the only word that fits here. 
I know that he's been working on a comeback because he's been doing a lot of media that he never did before. Right. And he really, I think it was after his mom passed away, mm-hmm. um, which was just last year. Right. Um, you know, and because he had the day she died, yeah. she managed the, the comedy show. store. Yeah, the comedy store, and so that was like his thing that he was looking after for quite yeah. some time. And, and so, but then he started doing appearances on you know podcasts and web shows that are heavily used for promotion. Right. You know, when you go on, you know, shows on First We Feast, like Hot Ones or, or things right. like that, or, you know, people use the Joe Rogan experience as a promotional tool, just like they used to use the Tonight Show. Right. And still do. But, right. you know, and so we started doing a lot of that over the last year or so. And so I was like, hmm, what is Polly cooking on? Yeah, I just got a notification just because of, you know, algorithms of things that I look at, which every right. once in a while something pops up, and I'm like, how did they know I like Encino Man? But it's, yeah, they're they're pushing to, pushing to try and make an Encino Man too, which I'm there for, regardless of what it, it be what the outcome is. But be interesting. I was like, listen, if it goes on tour like Kevin Smith, I'll, I'll be there. I'll probably go, yeah. yeah. Like, I'll there's the go. cast. I'm I'm there. Yeah. So yeah, Polly Shore and Sean Aston and Brendan Fraser, like let's go help on tour. Green light this thing. Like, th- I would, I would probably contribute to that Kickstarter. I would too. You know what I mean? Like one hundred percent. So, well, that's Brendan see, Fraser. Sure. going to care about. See, that. Brandon Fraser needs our help. He does. Polly Shore needs our help. But less Sean than Aston's doing doing just stuff. fine. Yeah. Um, you know, they killed him off, but whatever. Oh, well, I mean, that's one of those things. It's like what you know Sean Astin from is right. where, 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 where we're going to be. Right. Like, in that, that conversation. Was, that was, uh, it was a meme. It was like, Sean Astin. Oh, from Stranger mean, Things. From Stranger Things. No. I mean Sean Astin from Lord of the Rings. No. no. <laughs> I mean Sean Astin from The Goons. <laughs> that's how we're, like, we're about to fight. Sean Astin will always be... From the right, he and, always and he's never game. he's never been the star, no, but he's always been, been the star. <laughs> like he's a constant, high quality fixture. Yeah, you know he's like a bathroom sink. <laughs> okay, like listen, hear me out. All right, a bathroom sink isn't the focal point of any home. Right. But it's still something that you notice and appreciate when it's really, really good. What well play? And when... that is Sean Astin. I like it. You know, the kitchen faucet gets all the it gets all the glory. Yes. Yeah, you know, the kitchen people want to be like, wow, and the, do you see the sink and the faucet in the kitchen? Right. But when you they know they notice when the bathroom one is not great. Right. I get it. I agree with you. So I have, made that I have no Obama. argument. No, that was like well that done. just that just was, dawned on me. That, was that well Sean Aston is the the bathroom the bathroom sink. like the good bathroom sink right. of Hollywood. Right. That it's just kind of like hey, if you Take walked that into for what you will, if you walked into a master bathroom and there wasn't a sink, or it was a really ugly one, be like, oh, what is that? Yeah. What kind of what were they trying to do? Why is there yeah, seashells? More more <laughs> more so as they go. Oh, I see. They cheaped out in the bathroom. Right. Sean Aston is when you do not want to cheap the, out in the bathroom. That's or Rudy. The one where they, I even forgot to. But Rudy, people yeah. are like, oh, from Rudy. No. Stop it. It's still the Goonies. All right. Saturday. Saturday. Be there. You know, cool. Or at least tune into the live stream. Yeah. I don't expect Say anybody up. to get on a plane. But if you do, like, let me know. Yeah, you'll get some merch. Don't surprise us. Yeah. Like, but we'll we'll make sure that you have... The mo- if, if you fly in <laughs> to come to this show, just understand that you will get the VIP treatment of all time. Yeah. You have my word on that. Yes. 100%. All right. But time to go to work. Sounds good. See you Saturday. See you guys Saturday. Until then, he's Tucker. He's a beard. And we are out. <laughs>